In this present video, we will be obtaining an expression for refractive index of prism, that is the derivation of the prism formula. The video describes how the angle of deviation delta varies with angle of incidence for a prism. And of course, as said earlier, we will derive the prism formula or expression for refractive index of the material of the prism. Recall that this is the path of light ray through a glass prism. Q1 P is incident ray, PQ is refracted ray and this is the emergent ray. Angle A is angle of prism, angle I denotes angle of incidence, angle E denotes angle of emergence and angle delta, the angle between the extended incident ray and the emergent ray. This gives us the angle of deviation delta. Now we have also studied that the angle A is equal to sum of the two angles R1 and R2. And for a prism, angle I plus angle E, that is sum of angles of incidence and angle of emergence is equal to sum of angle of prism and the deviation produced by the prism. Moreover, for small values of angle of prism and this is to be read as angle I, angle of incidence, for small values of angle A and angle I, we have deviation equal to mu minus 1 into A. This is a graph which shows variation of angle of deviation with angle of incidence. As you can see from this graph, for small values of angle I, delta is large. As you increase angle of incidence, delta keeps on decreasing and here at this particular value of angle of incidence, it attains a minimum value delta M called the angle of minimum deviation. A further increase in angle of incidence results in an increase in value of angle of deviation. You can see it from the graph. That is, for small values of angle I, delta is large. As I increases, delta decreases. In general, for a given delta, there are two values of angle of incidence. You can see it. If you take this as angle of deviation, this angle of deviation can be produced when angle of incidence is I1 or angle of incidence is I2. At delta equal to delta M, the two values I1 and I2 become equal and we take them as I equal to E or angle of incidence equal to angle of emergence. So at this angle delta equal to delta M the light passes symmetrically through the prism. We have refracted ray PQ parallel to the base of the prism PC. This is a very important result. The refracted ray becomes parallel to the base of the prism. We have angle I equal to angle E and that is why we have R1 equal to R2 equal to R. The subscripts lose their meaning because R1 and R2 are equal. So we take each of the two angles as R. And this we have already stated that beyond minimum deviation, the value of delta starts increasing with increase in angle of incidence. Now for the expression for refractive index of material of the prism, we have to use the relations which we have already studied. We have angle A equal to R1 plus R2. At delta equal to delta M, that is under minimum deviation condition, we have R1 equal to R2 equal to R, leading us to the result A equal to 2R from here. A equal to 2R or R equal to half of angle of prism, that is A by 2. We also have I plus E equal to A plus delta, which under this condition, that is at minimum deviation, translates to I plus I, because 
i and e are equal so you get 2i equal to a plus delta m or i equal to a plus delta m over 2 half of sum of angle of prism and angle of minimum deviation using Snell's law we have mu the refractive index of material of a prism equal to sin i over sin r1 which also means sin i over sin r and if you replace the values of i and r from these two equations we get mu equal to sin a plus delta m by 2 over sin of a by 2 this relation for mu is very important because it is used to determine the refractive index of the material of the prism and gives very accurate result because minimum deviation is a unique position thanks for watching the video to see videos on other topics and to get notes revision problems assignments previous years cbsc papers you can visit the site www.physicsbackers.com do share it and subscribe to this site physicsbackers.com for more topics should you have any feedback write to ikg54 at yahoo.co.in thank you